Hi, thanks for tuning in today. Today's uh, webisode is going to be on diatomaceous earth and all the uses, all the healthy uses. So years ago, oh, like um, five years ago, six years ago, I discovered Permigard, and it's permigard.com. They're in New Mexico, and they have diatomaceous earth, which is basically fossil shell flower. It's little fossils uh, from when New Mexico was covered by an ocean billions of years ago, or whatever you want to say. And so these little tiny fossils, uh, in food grade form, they're good for us. They're healthy for us. They put it in uh, animal feed, so everyone eats it. If you eat any kind of processed food, uh, anything that isn't raised on a small farm, you've had it. And it's very healthy for you. They kill off parasites. They kill off insects. Uh, you just want to make sure if you use it in a garden, you're careful. If you have bees, which are beneficial, you don't want to hurt them. Um, ladybugs, praying mantises. I've used all of those, you know, the, the ladybugs, praying mantises, all the beneficial insects in when I had a garden at my uh, couple houses ago. So right now in my new house, I don't. it's all weeds. Some weeds are high, six foot high. Uh, I haven't done any landscaping yet, nothing. So I'll have a future video on this. But what I have today is I want to show you how this is used. Here's, here's what I want to show you. It looks like a little bag, you know, of, of cocaine or something. I got this at my local house food store. It just cost a couple dollars. Uh, but if you keep buying it in little bags, it's, it's really, real expensive as opposed to getting it from one of the Permagard distributors, which I did, you know, five, six years ago. I got a 50-pound bag for $35. This right here would be $109 if you got 50 pounds of it. But this is uh, non-toxic. Uh, I've used it with chickens. I've used it around my cats. Hi, Phoebe. Uh, I've used it, you know, for the in the chicken dirt where the chickens take their dirt baths, you know, put it in their nests, put it in their feed. But the best thing is, is it kills off like squash bugs, you know, squash beetles. I had that where it went after my pumpkins and then my aphids, you know, and the roses. I put this all over, squirt it underneath, put it on top, kills off all the bugs, the plants grow, no problem. All the pumpkins, all the cantaloupes that I grew years ago uh, survived. But I also sprayed this around the house to kill wasps, which in Utah they're paper wasps. They're not aggressive like the ones back east. So you can actually stand there and like throw it on them. And uh, I actually captured a wasp. I have photos on my Flickr channel. Um, it's Zeus and Phoebe. It's Flickr.com slash Zeus and Phoebe. Oh, there goes the alarm. Now you know I was filming at 8 o'clock in the evening. That's the 8 o'clock alarm. Uh, so anyways, I have pictures where I actually fed a wasp to one of the praying mantises, where I caught it with tweezers and handed it, put it on a, a leaf right on a sunflower right in front of there, and the praying mantis came up and grabbed it. Fortunately, I didn't have a video camera at the time, so I wasn't able to uh, film that. It would have been really cool, but I do have photos. So back to the, the diatomaceous earth. This food grade, because you want to make sure you get food grade, because Permagard does sell it with uh, chemicals in it. And the chemicals are to make the bugs itch, so they scratch and they, they rub in the diatomaceous earth faster. Because this food grade takes about 48 hours to kill them. It's not instant. But I did have ants outside the house when it first rained. They came out of the ground. They were around the patio. And uh, I was leaving for work. I had a bag. I reached inside real quick, back in the house, got diatomaceous earth, put a circle around them, and then sprinkled some in the middle, left. When I came back, they were all gone. I haven't seen them since. But watch, watch. I'm going to spray some. I'm going to throw some on some wasp nests underneath the eaves at the back door right now because they're starting to get big, you know, big nest. And I've just ignored it to this point. So watch what happens and uh, totally healthy. It, you know, it's just, you just don't want to be breathing it. If you're going to be doing a lot, you want to wear a little dust mask. But what I do here is outside in the wind, I just toss it and move away. Not a big deal. But it, this diatomaceous earth is excellent if you also consume it. And that's what this is sold for. So watch and learn. Oh. Give us thumbs up too and subscribe. Here's one of the two wasp nests that are out the, outside the back door. See the active little wasps all over it. And the white powder is the Permagard diatomaceous earth. Here's the larger of the two. So this was totally covered with wasps. And I hand threw the powder up there and only got part of the nest. So that's all that's left. And they're starting to build another one over here. Right there, right above the door. All right, so you can see the two uh, nests up here. There's one right there, one right up there. And these are just paper wasps in Utah. They're not like the wasps back east that are more aggressive and that will chase you. 
So you see the white powder all over the house up here? You can see it all over up there. That's because I was throwing it up on my hand instead of a, I can't find an applicator. I had one years ago and it was just like a red tube, just like you pour stuff in, you just pump it, like a bicycle pump. And the, so the store that has one locally wants like $32 for it. I'm not paying $32 for a plastic tube made in China. I have this, this is my applicator. So I have some diatomaceous earth here. I got it at a local health food store. This cost me, uh, I don't know, a couple dollars or something. Uh, they do charge more. Uh, you know, in the past I used to buy the big 50 pound bag and it worked out to being cheaper. But I don't, I haven't done the backyard yet. I don't have a garden yet. So let's throw some of this up here and see what happens. So my hands are gonna be all covered in powder, but it's okay, this is non-toxic. This is sold as food, this is food grade and it's sold to be ingested. And it's very healthy for you. Let's do this one first. Oh, I got them all. Oh, and they're buzzing. Here comes one. Oh, look at them all buzzing. They're all covered in white. Whoa, whoa, they're buzzing. They're in the air. Whoa, I don't know if you can see them all. Look at them all, can you see? They're all covered in powder. Let's do the other nest. Oh, that was a bullseye. Oh, there's birds flying overhead. Okay, can you see them buzzing? Check that out, man. My hand's all covered in powder. Okay. That was a bullseye. We tagged them. Okay, let's do the small nest that's over by the door. Let me move the camera over a bit. Let's see if we can move the camera. Okay, do do do. There's one right over the door. Right up, right up there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. They're all tagged. It's, whoa, thought I felt something. It won't kill them right away, but it'll kill them within 48 hours because this is fossil, fossil shell flower from the ancient oceans in New Mexico, and it will uh, cut them open and dehydrate them. Let's, let's go zoom in close on one. Okay, let's get in close. Can you see him covered in, in powder? Yeah, see that guy flying? He's covered in powder. Yeah. Those guys got powder on them too. I guess it won't focus. Whoa, they're flying around. Yep, we got them.